Hi, I'm Wayne Blanchard. I'm a certified financial planner and a member of the Garrett Planning Network. Our question is, what are the disadvantages of performance bonds? Well, there are some drawbacks in, in performance bonds. Sometimes when you get a smaller job and you require a performance bond, the performance bond itself can be enough to drive up the cost of the job that you want done. So you have to be kind of careful about that. But on bigger jobs, performance bonds are very much uh, needed and something that you need to understand. There could be some complications with a performance bond. So what are the, th what are the times that can happen? Sometimes uh, the surety, the, the insurance contract, tries to establish that the, the, the insurer tries to establish that the owner didn't really comply with the technical conditions of the bond and therefore doesn't want to cover it. It's kind of like any insurance type thing. If the, uh, the insurer decides that, hey, you didn't disclose something, you didn't do what was, you know, the situation was not as you described it in the beginning, then they will do their best to not, not pay at all. A second thing, uh, sometimes the, the insurer will try to prove that the owner may have been able or may force you to settle for the least expensive remedy to the problem. In other words, you may want something built that uh, when, you, when you were doing this construction, you wanted something that was being built in a first class style. Well, the insurer may come in and, and build it with the least cost available type of, of work. So you have to be careful about that. The next thing would be that the owner, it's the owner's responsibility to make sure that they quantify the losses to the insurer. Now sometimes they don't do that right. Well if you don't do it right you're not going to get basically the total amount that you should get under the performance bonds. So you have to be very careful about that. And also if the, un the owner underestimates the losses on the, on the future job and gets too small of a bond, then there could be additional losses that the owner could take. So you have to be careful even though you've got a performance bond because the insurance contract, always remember that the insurance contract is not going to pay any more or any less than the insurance contract absolutely calls for and you are going to, as the owner of the bond, you're going to have to absolutely do everything that's called for in the contract to make your claim valid. So those are just some of the disadvantages with a performance bond. Be aware and make smart decisions.